Hey, what's going on guys? So this is going to be a quick two-parter video. Um, the main thing is I'm going to ask for help uh, from you guys because this is going to be in an area that I never paid much attention to and I pretty much know nothing about other than the few uh, flashlights that I've seen around this area and are a little bit too damn pricey for what they offer. But anyway, I'm looking to spend at least 50 to $75 on a flashlight that puts out at least 150 lumens um, it doesn't have to be like a surefire or anything uh, that law enforcement or military carries uh, again from you know I, I hunt I camp I hike I need something that is going to be durable and uh, give me the performance that I'm looking for right now the only light um, that I have that I actually carry is this one right here and it's a six LED it's aluminum housing it runs off of three AA batteries and I mean it is it is bright for what it does I have not had any complaints and this has been dropped and kicked and actually landed in a puddle um, and just taking it apart letting it dry out putting it back together and it worked fine so I can't complain um, on top of that I actually made this little uh, red lens to go into it in place of the clear one for our turkey season because I needed a red light to get out to where we were going um, and set up before the sun came up however it's still bright but as you can see it's not a smooth surface this is like uh, just some shit I end up finding to make crafts uh, that look like stained glass it was cheap and uh, I just measured out the the clear one and used an exacto knife and cut it up if it's an awesome now to get to the second point part of the video um, a lot of people that I've seen their videos for like a bug out bag or in case of an emergency or even if you're on the waterways or you're camping or you're hiking and you get lost a lot of people carry flares um, that brings me to this right here that you see in front of you back in I want to say it was either 03 or 04 when New York State had finally made it mandatory for us to in order to legally be on our PWC which is our personal watercraft ie jet ski you had to go through uh, like a basic training type shit pretty much almost like your five-hour course to get your driver's license me uh, the reason why New York State jumped on the bandwagon with that like they do everything else was because too many drunk tards were getting on their machines and killing themselves or killing people that were riding with them um, and one of the things that you had to have on board uh, was your certification the completion of that pretty much like your PWC driver's license um, some sort of distress signal and uh, fire extinguisher um, so instead of having the flares we picked this uh, whistle up and it's called uh, Storm and you can see the chamber down here and this can also be used as like uh, an EDC tool I guess uh, for women that aren't really set for carrying pepper spray or anything else or feel comfortable carrying a knife because this puts out a really high decibel sound pretty much to get other people's attention um, and to you know let them know where you are for a moment of distress uh, so I'll just hoot on this real quick and show what it sounds like so that being shot and that wasn't even a full blow but that's pretty loud for a whistle um, which I figured I'd just toss into this video because I have yet to see anybody um, bring one into a video before or anything else for like a, a self-defense tool uh, I mean, hey, you get that blown into your ear and it hurts your ear from that high decibel, you're not going to really want to hang around anyway. And it's another non-lethal uh, choice, I guess. But uh, with that said, guys, I would really appreciate the help on uh, finding a new flashlight. Any help that you can give me would be appreciated. As always, be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you guys later.